Almost anyone who loves sports and follows it online knows what might be termed trickshot moments. It's these few seconds that leave you with your jaw dropped and eyes wide open, searching for an explanation of what has just happened. It's these few seconds that you hope for when watching live sports. Think of Federer, LeBron or Ronaldo. Tricks make us fall in love with athletes and sports. It's not a coincidence that one of the most successful sports channels on YouTube is not the NBA, Barcelona or Red Bull, but Dude Perfect, a channel dedicated to trick shots. From the Harlem Globetrotters, through Ronaldinho to Dude Perfect. Get ready to have your mind blown by the incredible evolution of trick shots. As it turns out, trick shots are not only entertaining, but they are also an extremely fascinating phenomenon to break down. To understand the origins, we have to travel back to the USA of the 1920s and meet the pioneers of trick shots, the Harlem Globetrotters. As well as bus seats, restaurants and in general public life, the National Leagues of Basketball ran under the Whites Only rule. The Harlem Globetrotters were thus excluded from official play. Instead, the team played show matches wherever there were willing opponents and paying audiences. No easy task in those days. Big business was still far away. So the Globetrotters had to change something. There are different understandings of why the team started performing trick shots in the late 30s. On the one hand, the Globetrotters usually traveled with a very small roster, which sometimes consisted of just five players. So the acts helped to slow down the game and let the players take a breath. On the other hand, they hoped that tricky play would reduce racial prejudice. And probably most important, the ball handling wizardry attracted many spectators and their money. Soon about 20,000 people came to see the Globetrotters games, 10 times more than NBA games at the time. Final recognition came in 1948 when the Globetrotters beat the world's best white team, changing the public perception of the game and black basketball players. This popularity and the progressive focus on the trick and entertainment factor brought in a lot of money. For the first game ever, the Globetrotters collected just $8. In the early 50s, the team reportedly made as much as $3.5 million. The first time trick shots led to big business. At the same time as the Harlem Globetrotters started the trick shots, Dutch intellectuals headed to the local library to get a particular book. Believe it or not, we actually found a scientific theory to explain the rise of trick shots. Homo Ludens, a study of the play element in human culture by Johann Heusinger. Homo Ludens is Latin and means something like playing human. Heusinger argues that play is older than culture. Even animals played before humans. And one of the most significant elements of play is that it's fun. His model explains how people develop their cultural skills through playing. Cultural systems such as politics, science, religion or law all originally evolved from playful behaviors. The act of playing is accompanied by a sense of excitement and pleasure and the consciousness of being different from ordinary life. With a little imagination, this sounds like the first definition of a trick shot. So from now on, every time you get lost in a rabbit hole of trick shot videos, you have the beautiful excuse that you're just researching the origins of human culture. Well, let's not get carried away. But play is a fundamental human activity that releases creativity and, in competition, energy and strength. Play has the potential to break through entrenched structures and bring about innovation. This is why playful elements are also included in many creativity techniques and modern management training. There is even talk of a ludic turn in media theory, characterized by gamification of, well, everything. So it is very human to play. And in a way, trick shots are the epitome of playing. The fascination for trick shots is therefore almost planted in human nature. Now only one ingredient is missing. Welcome to the internet. Have a look around. With the rise of the internet, and more specifically YouTube, the era of viral videos arrived. This one was the first with one million views on YouTube. People loved the mystery of not knowing whether the video was real or fake. Just like the Harlem Globetrotters, Ronaldinho evoked a fascination for an incredible trick. This didn't change when Nike exposed the video as a fake. The concept of the fascination that comes from trick shots can also be broken down to normal sport. Fans always want to see a spectacular overhead kick rather than just a boring tap-in. 
rather a slam dunk than a layup shot. Or simply sinking a paper ball into the bin in a packed lecture hall to get the whole class an A. Trick shots were the ultimate formula to go viral. And nobody understood that potential better than those guys. When the five college roommates started betting sandwiches on who would sink a basketball in their backyard, they didn't know it would be the starting shot for a $20 million business. They decided to film the shots and upload them on YouTube. As simple as that, Dude Perfect was born. With each video, Dude Perfect took the definition of trick shots to a new level. Over the years, Dude Perfect diversified with trick shots in multiple sports, often featuring big sports stars. Today, they are the second biggest sports channel on YouTube, beating huge organizations like the NBA, Barcelona and Athletic Interest. And even outside of the sports niche, Dude Perfect is arguably one of the most influential channels to date. The videos have almost 15 billion views in total. So in theory, every person in the world has seen two Dude Perfect videos. They might not have as many subscribers as Mr. Beast or PewDiePie, but look at their average views. Most channels need thousands of videos to get to that many subscribers and views, but Dude Perfect did it with only a few hundred. Almost every video goes viral. So how on earth did Dude Perfect manage to make it that far? With Nike's Ronaldinho commercial, the world got its first taste of trickshot videos. The term trickshot was nowhere near as common as it is today. It was only a small niche, but with a high growth potential. Dude Perfect jumped into that niche headfirst and reappeared in a million dollar business. Although appeared sounds like it was an accident, they built their business from scratch and really pushed the limits of what it means to be a YouTuber. As we learned from Paddy Galloway, they were one of the first channels to create a product outside of merch and lead the way for brand deals, showing big corporations how valuable working with a YouTube channel can be. In 2019, they finally became something like a trickshot performing boy band when they went on a live tour to 20 cities, entertaining thousands of fans on stage. Speaking of boy bands, they've even produced a music video. Here lies the key to Dude Perfect's success. The group is highly adaptable. People sometimes talk about them as these YouTube stars, but Dude Perfect has become much more of a global entertainment icon. Since their first video, Dude Perfect spots trends at the right time, mixing sporting skills with marketing to create a million dollar business. Which brings us back to our Dutch historian. As one of the five characteristics that play must have, Hoisinga identifies activities connected with no material interest and no profit can be gained by it. Thankfully, he wasn't referring specifically to a certain thing called trickshot, because how wrong would he be? Talking about doing business, we are proud to announce that this video is the premiere of Season 2 of Business Athletes, presented by Shopify. In each video, we explore the story of athletes who took their talents from the playing field to the boardroom and entered the world of business to create something beyond their sporting career. Shopify is the perfect partner for this because all the athletes we talk about are actually using Shopify to build their businesses. For example, do it perfect. And just like Shopify enables the best athletes in the world to build their brands, they empower small athletes and creators as well. Shopify has helped millions of people in 175 countries around the world start a business. We hope this got you inspired and if it did, make sure to check shopify.com slash athletic interest or the link in the description for a free 14-day trial of Shopify and build your business today. Thanks a lot for supporting us.